Well, with harvest just around the corner, many farmers are seriously thinking about the crops they're about to bring in and the prices that they're going to get. Joining us now with this week's bottom line is Neil Malonson. And Neil, of course, uh, a lot of farmers have to be concerned about the price for the crops they're about to bring in. Well, Mike, especially since we've been talking about this big corn crop that's been coming in, that in turn is going to mean lower prices. Now, some of that has been mitigated by the USDA announcing it's going to take a new look at corn acres, and some trade estimates are calling for a half million acres less of corn than previously thought. As I talked about a few weeks ago here in Louisiana, most folks think acreage was overreported, at least for this state. Soybeans are a different case, though. Although there was a million and a half more acres of soybeans than reported, we're still looking at bean prices around $10. More importantly for us here in the state, the basis numbers have been surging. As you can see, the basis for October is $1.50 over, meaning what is being paid for a ship full of grain is a dollar and a half over what the current market price is. On average, the basis has been between 88 and 98 cents over market value. Now the bottom line is this is in October, a time when harvest is almost done and we'll have the most supply of beans we're going to have in the year. Remember all the trouble Argentina and South America in general had with their crop? Well, we're finally starting to see the end result, which is they are running out of beans, and the U.S. will be the only game in town, or more accurately, in the globe. This will mean bean prices will see a good deal of support through the winter, especially when the basis is factored in. If you can store it, you're probably going to get a good bit of money, at least through March, Mike, when, uh, when they'll have the bean crop coming in from South America. And I tell you, Neil, I know there are a lot fewer soybean acres, particularly in North Louisiana, where I was a couple of weeks back. And so uh, everything seems to be corn out there. And I guess we'll really hope for some dry conditions. It was dry earlier in the planting season. Let's hope for some drier conditions come harvest. Hope so. Very good. Neil Malonson.